What is up guys, it is Nick, and we are back on Jurassic World Evolution, and we are going to be starting to create the ultimate island on Isla Nublar, so I'm excited to hop into this. Uh, this is the island from the movies, and so we're going to try to run it better than they My did in the movies. My story with the dinosaurs began here at Isla Nublar. This island is where I came to first question everything I knew, everything I held dear, not because that what happened here was impossible. Obviously it wasn't. I'd say we can't live in the past, but that's kind of what we do, isn't it? I guess if we can bring back extinct animals, why not bring back extinct parks? So this is actually a pretty tight area. Um, it's kind of hard to actually build here, but the good thing is, is we have unlimited money, so... Um, I can kind of trial and error some stuff, but the first thing we want to start out with is getting rid of this water right here by the entrance. It just really is in the way. So let's get this out of here. And I think I'm going to probably start with um, a monorail system. Uh, I, th I think that's probably the best is to get that at least plopped down at the entrance. I don't necessarily think we have to hook it up yet, but to get it pre-planned out here at the entrance. So you got a little bit of decent amount of space here at the entrance. So I think uh, we'll want it to come full circle. So I think right here, right by the entrance is probably the best. Granted, I can take the track over the entrance. If I can take the track over the entrance, this is perfect. And I can, okay, so we'll delete that for now. And we'll just leave that there. I just wanted to make sure I could get that set up and ready to go. So let's need to extend this path out a little bit. So let's go ahead and do that. And I want to get an innovation center right here at the beginning like they do in the actual movie. So it's under operations. Do I not have the security center? Um, Let's see. Do I want it over here? There's plenty of room over here, which is really nice. Um, it's nice and open. I think I'm actually going to do it kind of designed how they had it in the uh, Jurassic World movie. Because I kind of like that design. So we're going to put this... Actually, let me design the rest of it first. So, drag this out. I'm not going to design the park after the movie, but I did watch the movie yesterday at work while I was waiting around. And so actually want to do not something similar but just the opening part here because i liked how they had it so we're going to start it off with the uh the two basics the gift shop let's see can you actually can you plop these down right there the gift shop and the fast food right there so we'll get those placed down to start out with and then let's go ahead with the toy shop next And this is just more for uh, aesthetic appeal than it is really for viability in the park. But for aesthetics, putting lining these shops up like this looks really nice in my opinion. Let's get out ahead and put the bar down for the adults coming to the park. Clothing shop. Uh, hold on, let me hold off on the clothing shop real quick. Uh, bowling alley is big. Are these all big? Restaurant, clothing shop, bowling, yeah, they're all big. Um, what do I want to do here? I think I might just throw down another fast. Actually, no, because then I run, uh, this is kind of messy. Okay, at least I know I want that there. That's the restaurant. I don't have the arcade unlocked. I could probably leave. Actually, I don't know, though, if the arcade is a bigger or a smaller but we'll leave that open for the arcade, I guess. So we'll go ahead and put the bowling alley down. I can always delete and replace the bowling alley, so it's not really a big deal. So let's drag this out just a little bit further. And put down the clothing store. Alright, so we got that lined up. This will be for the arcade whenever I unlock it. Uh, obviously, we'll do be doing that series where I'm going back and completing all the missions. So we will unlock it. Uh, it's just a matter of time when I when I get it unlocked. So, let's see. Now, let's go ahead and plop the science center down here. I feel like this is a good kind of 
option since we we ran out of stuff because this can't auto snap. Let's see, is that straight? I think it's cool. it's not perfectly straight, but it, it, it's better than the tilts that I have now. I mean that's good enough. So we'll throw that down. We'll connect the path a little bit better than they have it connected. And so we're starting to get that stuff down there. What I like about this is I can kind of pre-plan the whole entire park out before I even actually have to do anything. So let's go ahead and put the Innovation Center now down here. Want this straight-ish. Is that straight enough? Eh, it's a little tilted. It's really hard to get these things to straighten back out. I think that's good enough. Alright, so throw down the innovation center there. Connect it. Alright, so we have that whole intro to the park all set up. I kind of like this gap here. We can then take the park its own direction from there. That'll be for the arcade. Granted, the arcade will fit, uh, but we need a large power station, first and foremost. So, if I put a large power station back in this corner... Can the monorail go over the power station? That's kind of big question number one. Let's go ahead and test that out. Going to be a lot of trial and error because I don't actually... Yes, the monorail can go over the power plant, so that's good. So let's go ahead and connect these paths here. I guess the monorail... I guess I did make mistakes were actually made because I should have left a little gap here so that people could make their way over to the monorail. I guess I could leave this gap and then put the arcade here. So let me see. Uh, just need to move the innovation center back just a slight tad bit. Okay. So let's delete the innovation center. And let's plop down. I'm just going to pop down a fast food restaurant just for hypotheticals. So then I can drag... Drag this out a little bit, and then plop the Innovation Center down again. Alright, Innovation. Alright, looks good. Let's back it up just a little bit more. There we go. That makes it so that I can take a path off to the side. Take a path right here, and run it down. Alright, so then we can use this to make a path that goes back. So I am going to do um, a bit of optimization. I mean, I don't obviously don't have to, but in order to make the ultimate park, we need to have a little bit of optimization. So let's do that. Drag it along here. Uh, probably should have, there we go. Should have stopped it a little bit early so I can curve it. curve it like that. Alright, now for the power. So let's curve it out like that. Drag it over and just connect it right there. Okay, so now we need to get stuff powered up. So let's go ahead and get a large substation. It'd be clutch if I could put it down here, and I can. So I'll be able to drag it here and then back there. So that should power a lot of things up once it's completed. We'll see what its coverage is once it's done. Alright, so it powers all the way up until out here. It even powers the science center. So, grab another large substation. Go ahead and put it right next to the science center. There we go. Be able to drag. Oh, look at that. So close. So we'll put it actually behind the science center here. What is it obstructed by? Oh, that stupid thing on the science center. Um, actually gonna bring it here, and then bring it back over to here. Actually, can it fit here? Oh, well, it can. There we go. And then connect it to the substation. So everything is now powered. So that's good. I want to bring another pathway off of here. that down like that 
Alright, so looking good. Let's go ahead and delete this uh, fast food restaurant so I don't forget. I mean, it's not perfectly even. As you can see, it's a little tilted in certain spots. But overall, I'm happy with how it looks. So let's go ahead and bring another pathway up here. See, I'm going to have to make it a little bit deeper because of the science center. I hope this is good. Nope. Needs to go up just a little bit farther. Let's actually draw this out. Do that. Oh, I actually... We're good. Just connect it like that. And drag that up. Eh. Let's see here. I have to delete something. Let's delete that. Drag this down. And then drag this up. There we go. Looking good. I like how it's it's looking to start out here. We have a little bit of room to place like a small substation or something there, if so be it. Let's souk up this thing. Two outage protections. Actually, the ultimate island would involve me turning some stuff off. So you actually have settings on this island. If you go to the sandbox settings, dinosaur disease. So we don't want any disease, no weather. Um... Low escapes and no outages while we're building. So let's go ahead and get those. Do you have to apply those? Yeah, you have to apply them. So no, 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 and then apply. Alright. So don't actually need those, but for the sake of being semi-realism to the park, we'll, uh, we'll leave the outage protections on there. So now, probably time for our first exhibit. So let's go ahead and get this thing going. So actually what I like to do, I like to plan out my viewing galleries first. So how much room do we, we have a plenty of room back here. So I'm gonna start out with, I think one right here would be nice. It's a little bit tight. Might be better for one of the singles, um, the really small ones. Uh, all right, I think that's good. We'll place that there. Now we can place another viewing gallery. I actually want to let that build so I know exactly what kind of line of sight it has. It's connected, right? Yep. So I was thinking maybe a viewing platform in this corner because it kind of fits in better, but I don't know. Probably not necessary. One issue that we have is we gotta wait for stuff to build. But I'll, I'd assume this will probably be a three or four, maybe five part series. Um, I mean, it's taken us 13 minutes to do what I have right now. Um, and for stuff like this, we have to wait for it to build, so that adds an extended amount of time. Um, let's see. So it actually makes sense to put this over here. Yeah, so we're gonna throw that down there. And now we can kind of connect this. So I have been using a lot of just the concrete walls. I think they do the best job. Um, but that was kind of when I had issue of dinosaurs escaping. Doing the ultimate island, we don't. I don't know. We can mess with the dinosaurs escaping, but I don't really know how important it is. There we go. Bring that in there. And now we wait again a little bit for that to build. Let's go ahead and put another viewing gallery. So we probably need one up in this area, and then that'll be the size of the first exhibit, I think. I have to connect, hold on, let me connect this path real quick so I can see. I'm surprised it has power, but it does. So, all right, final viewing gallery. Yeah, it looks like it just needs to be up here. Let's so go ahead and plop that down there. And now we just need to connect the viewing galleries. Alright, 
There we go. Wrap this one around. Hate how the trees can't see anything through them. I mean, this might be a little wide, but let me just get it there. Um, actually, probably not wide enough. Delete all this. Let me get rid of these trees. I didn't want to have to do this, but they're really in the way. I can't see a thing. So we'll ditch all these trees, get these out of here, so I can actually see. And I have to get rid of a lot of them for the exhibit anyway. And I think I'll start the park out with Spinosaurus's. Uh, maybe an, Indo an Indominus Rex. I don't know. I like bulls, so it's not really a big deal. And I'm not trying to... I guess we're trying to maximize guests, so probably Spinosaurus's to start out with. So... I think it makes sense, at least for the first one here, to have a Hammond's Creation Lab. I wasn't going to put one down, but I think it makes sense to have it. Uh, is that the best place for it? It's kind of hard to know what the best... This kind of restricts the cage. It makes it really tight, but it's probably the optimal decision. Uh, yeah, I think this is probably the best idea, is to do it right here. Kind of restricts what the pen can be, but I think it's the best idea. So it should be able to be connected to a straight line through there. Okay, so you gotta make it a little bit tighter. go. Can connect this. And then can connect this. Alright, so now we gotta bring this all the way around. Let's do that. Tighten it up right there. And then to there. Okay, so now I gotta connect the cage before I do anything. So I know exactly what route I want to take. Eh, I don't really like how I did that. Let's bring this out. Doesn't need to be gigantic of a cage, but... I think that's good right there. I like how that looks. So, now... I'm going to run a pathway really tight up here. Let's see, I think it's better to do it this way. Run it real tight to the wall there. To here. Curve it up. Like that. And run it back there. There we go. So now that is connected. Now I just need to put down a small substation up here, however I want to do this. I think I could actually... Eh, that might get a little tight there. But, I will try it. So I'll put this down right there. Oops. There, run it to here. And it won't run, so I gotta place it there, and then connect it to the power station. There we go. Alright, so this is all up and running. Uh, I think that corner's kind of a dead zone, but it's alright. Yeah, just a little bit of a dead zone. So that's where I will put some trees. It's kind of a dead zone over here. Just tree that up. And then let me get rid of the trees here, because it all depend on what I exactly place in here. How many trees I need. Alright, to the Hammond's Creation Lab. What are we going to be making? So I think... I think Spinosaurus's are the way to go for this first area. Um, not, it, it's a big area. This is a decent sized area. Uh, but it's not an enormous area, so... Probably best to just get the good old reliable Spinosaurus's. I mean, I like Spinosaurus's. I don't just put them in the game for the simple purpose of, oh, they're the best. 
But let's go ahead and put some success rates because we're going to gene mod the crap out of these Spinosauruses. So let's go to this. So right now they got 77% viability. So definitely need to modify them. I always like to increase their life. Um, I'm not going to have them be fighting yet. So I think the extra life is the best option at this point. Get them up to 115. Hyper efficiency blood. Immune response. Oops. So now it's at negative 2%, so hyper efficiency blood. So we're looking at like a 50 50 chance almost at this point. Um, I definitely want to get another um, immune response. So now we're looking at like 40% ish chance that it succeeds. And then if I put one of these on, another hyper efficiency, we're looking at like a 30% chance it completes. Um, not very good, but because of how this is, I think I'm okay uh, doing this the way I'm going to do it. So I'm assuming both of those will probably fail, um, but let's go ahead and get started on our next exhibit at this point. So I want to run this line pretty much straight down the back here. I think it's a little crooked, but it'll get the job done. So can I actually, can you, okay, so you can run I actually didn't know that. It's kind of nice. Let's see, but this monorail is going to screw me. I was going to run a path all the way around and then take it kind of through here. But looks like the monorail is going to mess me up there. So no big deal. Let's go ahead and drag this and connect it. Uh, there we go. do it like that okay so I have that connected and I think it's probably time we could start on another exhibit so I'm trying to decide exactly what I do here what is disconnected oh the monorail um let me get rid of this in case I want to build something back in that corner all right actually what we need to get is all of this stuff the ACU and the ranger station so that we can be good so let's go ahead. Do we want to just put them here? I think I think the best option is just to put them here. I think this is semi suboptimal, but it's all right. We don't have to. We don't have to be perfectly optimal here. Okay, place that down. Oh, let's go ahead and get the ranger station. Plop that down right next to it. I know they're a little crooked, but I don't really think it's a big deal. Um, so that's good for those. I guess I will put a storm just because it makes sense. I'll put a storm defense station right here. And it gives it an aesthetic look. I think it looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and do that. Connect those. Oh, these are kind of crooked. Especially the ranger station. Hold on, let me let me delete the ranger station. That looks terrible. Uh, ranger station. kind of hard to get this really straight kind of tilts no matter what you do I mean it's just gonna have to be a little bit uneven I think it, that's just really hard to get that perfectly straight so we already had one Spinosaurus fail so I'll get another one going I think I'll end this episode whenever I release my Spinos uh, we have to get a gate let's go ahead and put the gate here Makes some good sense that it goes there. 
Alright, so, upgrades to this, reload, I definitely need to get to work on getting more accuracies unlocked, uh, cause only having accuracy one really sucks. Get the scheduling, and so there is that. Now it's time to put another path directly behind these. I'm gonna bring it right next to it. There we go. Curves a little bit, but looks good enough. For this, I like one ranger speed, one accuracy, and the rest of the scheduling. Put that down. And so next, it's time, I guess, to get another pen going. So let's go ahead and start the normal. Place this have it in the most corner spot that we can have it. About right there. Take this and connect it. In other news for the channel, um, I uh, finished up my, my uh, map through Detroit to get platinum, so we will be starting that either today or tomorrow, uh, depending on how my day goes. Um, that down right there and now we can connect them so I'm actually gonna take this close to the to the road just because I always hate this it never goes down right let me try it from this angle want a really tight curve around here go and connect. there we go so because of how this is set up um, I just think it's better to take it really tight to the to the uh, road Let's see here now what do we want to do looks like the spinosaurus are actually gonna make it that's good um, I think on this island just with how I mean, it's small. I don't like the size of this island for the end game island, but it's big enough that I think I could have a Hammond's Creation Lab at every every uh, enclosure. Um, not sure exactly where I want this though. Guess we could do. Alright, another Spinosaurus didn't make it. The first one made it, which I'm impressed with. Let's see. So let me see here. So it goes to about this white line. So Hammond's creation. And I should probably let me let me do this first. Should probably be able to do this. Alright, Hammond Creation. Oh, there is a spot. Just gotta get it in there. Sometimes you should just spam the A button. It'll place it. <laughs> Case in point. Well, let me bring this out like eh. I don't like how that's I mean now that I know I can place a bat there it's just better if I do it this way ah, it's just not going how I want it to go let me connect this first and then bring it off of there straight down Oh my gosh, these Spinosauruses are failing to hatch. Okay, there's 
that. Can I that? All right, I like how this is going so far. Throw another Spinosaur in the incubator. Now the question becomes, this is always interesting because sometimes it won't let me do it. Is can I actually get this out of here? Looks like it's going to let me. There we go. All right. So I guess I'll start incubating something here. So success rate. I want highly gene modded stuff, so. What do we want in this one? How big is this going to be? This is going to be fairly big. Um, so we could do my brackies that I love to have. Or... Yeah, we might go with the brackies. I love having brachiosauruses. Uh, they were actually my favorite dinosaur when I was growing up. Is that really only at 16% right now? It is, only at 16%. Oh, because it's gene modded out the anus. Is this max gene modded? Yeah, this is like max gene modded except for cosmetic. So we'll go ahead and throw the cosmetic on because those give huge boosts to ratings. And we'll go ahead and throw a couple brackies in there. I usually like to have three brackies. So just for the sake of getting this up and running... We won't be keeping this here, but just for the sake of getting this part up and running, I'm going to I'm going to double ham and creation lab this area. Like I said, not going to keep this around, but for the point to getting the brackies out because I like to have 3 or 4 brackies to start an exhibit, so In order to have that happen, I have to put another ham and creation lab because I don't have room in this one. I might keep the double. It looks decently all right with two. Uh, but not act not the overarching plan as of this second. Okay, don't need another one of these until about right here. Pop that down. Those bad boys. Get a substation. Make a little stops along the way. There we go. Substation down. And path. Path there. around right there there we go get that all connected up all right how are my spinosauruses coming that failed again come on spinos oops oh no oh no i didn't want to know. oh gosh that bracky will probably survive too which will be the worst oh man all right all right plan B. Release the Spinosaurus. Delete the Hammond Creation Lab. Gotta get the food down for my Spino. Food. Food. I always put down like four food for these. For these guys. Uh, let me get food here for him. And water. He needs some water. Yeah, I don't need it that big. There we go. Let's landscape in some trees in the corner here. Alright, is he happy? Is the question. Yeah, he's pretty happy. Alright, so let's get another Hammond's Creation Lab down there. Hopefully it'll let me place. Yep, there we go. That's a mistake that I make on a regular basis, is that I'll have started something in another Hammond's Creation Lab, and then I'll misclick and I'll start it in a different... Oh crap, I don't know. Oh my gosh. I forgot the...
but success rates on this, so those Brackies are for sure failing. They've got an 11% viability. Definitely not making it. All right. Uh, I kind of want to come at it from this angle. We need to start closing this area here because this is going to turn into an enormous exhibit if I don't reel it in a little bit here. So I need one of those and then I need one of these to create better visibility to the middle. So can I just put this right next to it? Put that down there. Let me make sure I can connect these with a fence this close together. Yep, I can. Okay, good. Alright, very close to being able to call this an episode. These brackies, the brackies in there are actually kind of making it. Alright, so Spinos. Spinosaurus. So we can make two Spinos. That's the good thing here. Check that out straight. There we go. Now I gotta connect the path. We gotta get rid of this water, because it's gonna be an issue. Alright, path. Uh, hold on. Let me bring it in to like here. There we go. Now the power question comes into play. Will it fit? Oh, it will. The ultimate optimization. Place it down. Come on. There we go. are almost done. Oh, I did not put down success rates here, so there is zero chance that these Spinos are gonna make it. These Spinos are for sure dead. Are for sure dead. Oh, my chair is... I need to get a new uh, chair to game, and this one's like super squeaky. I think I might leave these two Hammonds. I kind of like the look of it right next to each other. I mean, I, it'll probably be the only one that I have dueling ones like that, so. Hammond's Creation Lab 5. Is this 5? Nope. Brackies. Alright. Almost done with this exhibit for the Brackies. Really only need one more of these and we're good to go. There we go. Go ahead and connect these with a fence. Alright, there we go. We are all connected there. Let's get the path connected. I guess I'll take it around and connect it to the other one as well. I'm gonna run this one really close to the fence. There we 
go. Now just need some power. There we go. Uh, there's not really a close power plant, so let's have to take it this way. To here, and then to here. Not perfect, but it got the job done. Get rid of the bracky, new bracky into the thing. Uh, Spinosaurus failed. It went so well with that first Spino, and then just downhill since. Okay. Do we not have enough power? Do I have to? Do I need another power plant? Yep, we are out of power. So, where do we want this power plant at? Took one episode to run out of power. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Right here would be good if I could get it to fit. Eh, I can't get it to fit right. Um. Oh, right here. This is the good spot. If I can get this to go, which I can. Right there. Perfect spot for the power. So now I'll just drag it here and then right there. Perfect. It's actually a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I thought it would be, at this point, because I don't have a lot of space fledged out, that it'd be kind of hard to get something down uh, in a position that I liked, but not bad. What is our park looking like right now? We got 1,600 guests. Not bad. Dino onesie. Price this bad boy up. Let's see. $39 for a dino onesie. Bowling alley. You gotta have the 10 pin bowling. No one's going, no one wants to go bowl at three pins. $39. Restaurant. Giganto steak. That'll be $39. My, my park is where you want to go if you want to lose a lot of money. Buying a dino cocktail for $50 or whatever I'm going to make this. Yep, for $50 if you want a dino cocktail. Fossil zone. The fossil zones are one of the best things in this game. They just churn out people. So another $50 for a dino tooth. Toy shop. Toy shop's a little lackluster to start out here, but RC Saurus, we'll put it at $24. Gift shop. No one's at the gift shop. But if you go to the gift shop, you can get some night vision goggles for the low price of $33. And the fast food, no one's at the fast food. So we're just gonna leave it at Dino Bites for $5. It's the value. It's the value shop. The fast food restaurant. Oh, this isn't done yet. I, I was trying to figure out why the power was still messed up, but it's because this wasn't done. So, outage, improved, improved, improved. Oh my gosh, they both failed. St stupid Spinosaurus, man. Alright, I think the Brackies might be... The Bracky, we're going to be ready to Bracky it up here soon. So that's good. Let me landscape over here real quick. We're getting close to being able to call it a first episode. I'm, I'm happy with what we did in this episode. Um, I just want to actually have a semi-complete couple pens, but looks like that's not going to happen because the Spinosaurus has refused to get done. I'm going to end up putting a lot of these trees back down because the Brackies are whiny little douche McGrubers, but for now... I need it clear so that I can put down food and stuff. Plot that out and plot my water out. Oh, get rid of that water. I think I just want it... I think I just want it here. Ish. I always like to put it out in front so that then people can watch them drink. I don't know if that truly matters, but it's something I like to do. So now I'm going to tree it up around the water. Get rid of 
get rid of those trees. Dial it back just a little bit. There we go. Dial that bad boy back. Okay, now for the food. These things eat like crazy, so I put down a lot of these. And it just gives them a nice option. And especially in a park where money is not really an issue, I'm definitely going to put down a lot of these. Oh, the Spinosauruses just fa continue to fail to hatch. The first one went so well, it was, like, laughable how well that went. Okay, so we got seven of the food feeders down, and then this one will just be viewed to watching new dinosaurs come out of the pen. I guess I could put a little bit of water down over here for the new dinosaurs that come out for them to watch. But mostly this is just to watch new dinosaurs come out. You can put some trees here in the middle. I definitely want trees over here on the outskirts. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't obstruct any view of anything. Let's get those down. Most of this park, or most of this enclosure will turn into a bunch of trees because the Brackies are some picky idiots. They want a lot of trees, so I'm going to actually line this trees here. I think this should be enough for them. Um, I'm usually wrong with what I think is enough, but... Go ahead and release our Brackies. Still probably my favorite dinosaur uh, is the Brachiosaurus. I just really like them. I don't know why. I just loved them as a kid. I, I remember I had like four or five toys as a kid that were Brachiosauruses. Just a cool dinosaur to me. I don't know. I don't know why. Um, I think they're such a cool dinosaur, but I do really like them. So let's see what it pops up for the forest. I'm just going to assume that it's that low because of where he's located. If he would move into the middle, I think it would uh, it would do better. Uh, another Spinosaurus failed, so this is just fantastic. It's the endless loop. This Spinosaurus is going to live and then die. He's going to reach the age of 199, and there will still not be a Spinosaurus for him. There will be no friend for him. Okay, so this one's heading towards... Yep, okay, there we go. The forest is good is good enough. I don't I don't want to describe it as good, but it's good enough. We there we go. I'm happy with that. We got our brackies. Got the big watering hole there. We got a little one here. I think this makes more sense to not have this here. Because it's going to draw them back to the beginning. And like I said in my five star tip video, that just creates a lot of issues. Um, so we're going to have a little bit of a longer episode here to start it all out, but, uh, expect most of the episodes to come to be roughly a half hour-ish. Um, but just how this one goes, and I wanted to try to get a pen actually to have some dinosaurs in it. It just resulted in this being a little bit longer of an episode. Alright, we'll give this Spinosaurus, this Spinosaurus is the last hope to get it done in this episode that we release the Spinosaurus. How is my transport rating a 94? My transport doesn't take you anywhere. But, thinking of transportation, this is actually, oh, hotels, you know what, we gotta start with hotels. We gotta, we gotta pull, we gots to place hotels, I completely forgot about them. Um, this is a good spot. If it wasn't what is it obstructed by? There's got to be, like, water. This is why I get sick of water, because it's in the way on this island. Okay. Guess, hotel. Um, do I want it there? Or do I... Let me see. Hold on. I want to see about a monorail here. Mm, it's obstructed. That oh, would have worked out so well to have a mono here. Why can't I place it down like there? Right, let me try placing down a hotel here. Because I think it'll fit. Or not. 
Okay, so the hotel had to go here. But I want it more even to the creation lab. Let's line that up like that. Just back it up. There we go. Okay, so that's where I want the hotel. I think this is taking a little bit away of what I said about optimization, but... The park has to look nice. I want my park to look nice a bit. Instead of being like a boxy, stupid looking park. this down and connect there. There we go. Alright. Is this thing still cooking along? It is! 73%! Looks like we're gonna get our Spinosaurus. I probably spoke too soon, but it looks like we're gonna get him. Um, I guess I'll get a Diplodocus cooking up in this. I love the Diplos because they're not super picky. <laughs> they only need themselves. That's it. But I'll probably go ahead and give... Eh, no. Maybe just the one Diplo for now. Hyperficiency blood. Immune response. And immune response. Let's get that Diplodocus going. Alright, so... I want to get a monorail. I don't get why I can't put it here. Like... What terrain constraints are there that I can't put it here? Oh, there we go. Got it. Let's go. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Don't want to interrupt the Spinosaurus's cage too much. So I'm going to take the long... Oh, hold on. we go. So we got that connected. That's good. Alright, so now connect that right there. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love how that came together. I mean, there's a more direct route I could have taken, but I wanted to bother the Spinosaurus as little as possible. I think I did a good job of that. And there we go. We can release our next Spinosaurus. Such a cool dinosaur. One of my one of my favorites that I have unlocked in this game. Um, there are better dinosaurs in the game, but it's one of my favorites. Acknowledging request for feeder resupply. To resupply those. And already need to resupply to these. It's crazy Confirming how much task. these brackies eat. Feeder resupply they just request blow received. through the food. But I think that's a good stopping point for this first episode. Um, we got our first hotel down. Food and drink is a little low. Shopping people are happy with. Transportation they're happy with. Uh, it's just food and drink and stuff, which I think will just come. We'll just have to put stuff around in different spots here. Um, I might actually be able to... Uh, nope, it's obstructed. I was going to say I thought I might be able to fit one in there, but just a little too tight. Uh, but actually out here since the fast food restaurant at the opening of the park or at the beginning of the park isn't getting any love we'll put one out here maybe people will be happy about that we'll need a hotel probably down in this area that's probably the next Stage did this <laughs> that Spinosaurus made it to. I never released this Bracky, so we can get our third Bracky out. 
I guess I'll continue to try to raise Spinosauruses there, so that when those two die, I'll have two more ready to go. But, let's see if this fast food... Final thing we'll do is we'll see if this fast food restaurant uh, is getting a bunch of customers. I would think it would. It's on kind of a remote part of the island. Uh, should probably actually get something up here as well. It would make sense. Alright. This is packed. It is. Not not crazy packed, but it's packed. I guess at this point we should just have the max people that we can have. I think that just makes the most sense. At every place, because there's no real reason not to. Money is not a true issue. I mean, obviously I want to make the park wildly successful. But I don't think overall having max people... Like, the fossil zone's already full. Can't take any more people at the fossil kind of crazy the bar is on the bar is packed the parents need their cocktails at this park and just for guest experience the more people you have it tends to uh the more staff it tends to get a few more customers in there because it's a little bit speedier a little bit better i'm not sure if that's actually how it works in conceptualizing this game but can't actually even see how much i'm making so that kind of sucks. I can't even see how much I'm making. But uh, that's going to do it, I think, for the first episode here. Uh, I like how the park is starting to look. Um, we'll need to probably get some food. and We might do another one of these like runways that I did here with food and drink and clothing and all that over and up here. Uh, but we still got plenty of park to go. Um, obviously, I'm going to get some Indominus Rex and some stuff like that uh, in this park. But overall pretty much just gonna stick with my bread and butter i would like to save some room uh let's see here i do have the dinosaurs the extra dinosaurs the dlc dinosaurs so let me just throw this down real quick and i'll show you is it they're under research i'll just delete this when we're done with it but uh they're uh they're pretty cool dinosaurs so i'm looking forward to getting them i should be getting them soon when we're going through and getting uh all the stuff completed uh, so we can release the Diplodocus while that's happening. So we're going to clock in on this episode just around an hour. Not my favorite of the long necks, uh, but I do like the Diplodocus just for purposes of this game. He's probably my least favorite out of the Bracky, Apto, and Camera. Um, but Diplo's not terrible, but not one of my favorites. I just like how convenient it is to have one in a pen because he can be by himself. kind of a loner like uh like uh the t-rex and the indominus rex all right are you happy with your surroundings you're not a big field guy i don't think no he does want more grassland than what have thought but not terrible okay so the dinosaurs i'm talking about is if we go into fossils they're down here the deluxe edition fossils so we have the Styracosaurus and the Crichtonsaurus and the Archaeonithamimus. Uh, I don't really care about those three, but these are the ones. I really want a Suchomimus or Suchomimus. I'm really close on Isle Pena to unlocking it. Um, and then the Majungasaurus. These two just look really cool and uh, I really want them on my island. I'm actually pretty close to getting them. Um, I'm really close to getting him, uh, so we might actually go back to Island Pena and unlock him so that we can have him in an upcoming uh, facility, uh, or an upcoming pen here, but let me delete that because it's kind of in the way. But yeah guys, that's going to do it for the first episode of creating the ultimate Jurassic World. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.